Tell me, uh, what was it like for you to give that rifle up in the end? When you were discharged, honorably discharged, what was it like to have to hand that rifle in? I never gave much thought about it. You, see, you missed it though, didn't you? Oh yeah, you, you, you eat and sleep, go into the bathroom, everything with, a, with that rifle. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you sort of missed it, but you were so glad to get out of the Marine Corps that you didn't, you, you didn't give a shit about the rifle anymore. <laughs> All I what cared, if, what all if by that had, time, all I cared about was the El Morocco and yeah, getting the hell out of there. <laughs> on the other hand, what if, by some chance, you were to come across an M1, an actual M1? It'd be pretty exciting to look at again, wouldn't it? Why, are you thinking of getting one? No, I'm not thinking about it. Yeah. What if we were to come across the rifle that you actually had? Oh Lord, how the hell I don't even know the number. What if it can be traced? What if it's something that can actually be traced? Oh come on, don't tell me you got that. I didn't get it. Who did? Tommy got it. What? Where? Here right is here. your M1. Is that, what you that is your M1 from World War II. Jesus Christ, how did you get that? Huh? It oh, man, it's heavy. Huh? It is unloaded, obviously. <laughs> Double checked. How did Tommy get that? We did a lot of research. Yes, how heavy it is. You feel mm -hmm. it? It's 11 pounds. Tommy, give it to me. Which make sure it's, you have Rich. Rich. Can you? I thought yeah. he destroyed most of them. Nope, I'm going to tell you the story about this. There, there it is. There's your serial number, Springfield. This is your gun. Now, I'm the strap will be coming this yeah. week, but it, it's not right. 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 the original uh, sling. Is well, not it, it's on its way, but it, it's not the original one. It's, 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 it's yeah. a new one. Oh, sure. That's coming. Uh, oh. This is your M1. <laughs> a gentleman in New Jersey owned it, and I researched the serial number right here. How did you find the serial number? There are, there are websites that actually show where these guns were issued, when they were issued, when they were manufactured, and through months of research, we found this gun. Did it belong to somebody? Well, this gun has a long history that we have looked at. Excuse me, this rifle, thank you, Tommy. This rifle is not a gun. It's not a gun. This is a gun. I will not. Oh. <laughs> That's correct. This rifle has a long history. Uh, the internals were, were all rebuilt in 1965. This gun was probably in such good condition when you were discharged that it probably saw action in Korea. Then it was rebuilt in 1965, and the only reason they would rebuild them would be possibly to go to Vietnam. A few of them went to Vietnam as well in the beginning. Hmm. Hmm. That was it. God, it feels just like it did. Huh? Does it feel? Can you yeah. imagine carrying this? I know. This? That is one heavy rifle. Beautiful. How do you feel? It really is. Huh? How do you feel? Thanks for back to the car. It's like getting your third arm back. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> the rain is like... This, the M16 is much smaller than that. Yes. And the M14 is similar but different. 
Yours rifle, caliber 30 M1. M1 Grand. Can you imagine? It's so yours. this rifle must have seen Look some action. Look at the front page of the shiny shoe. Look at it. It looks very. You know, man gets his rifle. Original. Yeah. You can see yeah. Yeah. all yeah. the button stock and everything. This rifle has seen all kinds. Of it had a life after you. Where did you get this? I bought this from a gentleman in New Jersey. How much did that cost? A pretty penny, but some things are worth more than money. What what did it cost? I don't remember. Oh, the cheap. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember, and I don't Without care. Without money, condition. Right or, now, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just look at this. I'll tell you Isn't one this day. Incredible. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You can bring this back as well. Yep. Here we go. Let me get. Here. This is where the clip is. Yep. That's it. Is there any ammo? No. No, I didn't say. You put the eight rounds of eight where you press down here, and as you fired each time, the cartridge would right. come out. When the eighth cartridge, uh, your last shot, the cartridge would come out, and you take out of your belt a new eight. And it had that distinctive the, well, ping when it came out, right? That right. ping. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then you shove the new eight uh -huh. down. And you're ready to go and again. And boom, it clicks. And you fire it again. Mm -hmm. But it's not, a, it's not a repeating rifle. In other words, it doesn't go automatically. Right. You had to fire each time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it did win the World War. They, they call it one of the best. Yeah, they? Patton said it was the greatest implement. It's very accurate. And it's right? extremely yeah. accurate. I have not fired this weapon. We just got it and couldn't believe it. You know, it. <laughs> when, we first, when I first fired this weapon, <laughs> I tell you, it was something else. You go out to a rifle range, and I think it was... 200 yards, or maybe it's more. Uh -huh. It's a long <laughs> yeah. way down yeah. there. And they, they're in a trench, and they have this great sort of target. Mm -hmm. Big white paper with a black bullseye on the thing. And they grow it up <laughs> out of the trench. And the sergeant that was in the middle would say, I already on the right, already on the left, watch the targets. This mm -hmm. is 16 rounds, this standing to nailing. And then we, would, we were there with it, uh, and then they'd go down the uh -huh. knee like that, and then we'd fire 16 rounds. Yeah. And put another Twi clip yeah. In, yeah. So. <laughs> We, every time you shot, the target would go down underneath the trench, and the target would then come up with a white little circle uh -huh. where they marked where the bullet was right. on okay. the target. And if it was in the black, it was a bullseye. Uh -huh. So they would announce they would announce bullseyes with the microphone yeah. or something that you yeah. could hear. Yeah, so you could hear it, right? Two hundred yards away or whatever we yeah. were. I yeah. don't know how many uh -huh. we were, but we had to learn this damn thing unbelievably. We had to take it apart. We had to clean it. Yep. We had to put it. You had to do it blindfolded. It. I know my brother oh, did God. blindfolded. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it was unbelievable. Yeah, and I remember. I I still have some card. Uh, I'll give Tommy my medals and uh, give Layla and Tommy. What happened? Uh, yeah, you gave Layla your marksman medal, your, your medal. Medal. Yeah. That yep. was, those medal. Yeah. Yep. She has it on her nightstand. Yeah. That was done with this rifle. That's right. Yep. Wow. That's right. Amazing how.
The That's circle connects. <laughs> well, we wanted to get and, and when and when it, it's amazing when they uh, <clears throat> they make a big deal out of it at Paris Island because the only thing that's any good. <laughs> Yep. Before, long before the final graduation parade, they bring, bring up those those yeah. marksmen yeah. and sharpshooters and give them. Oh, their, it's a big their, deal. Their little yeah. medal. It's a so big it's deal. It's a very big deal yeah. for, for it is. the marine. It is because it's the only thing it's ever they've yeah. ever gotten. Yeah, yeah. You know, if they if they've gotten, yep. they're, they're proud. Yeah, and a lot of them didn't get it. No, it's hard. Putting, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. As hell it's very hard. A little black uh, back ball. Yeah. yeah. Two hundred yards yeah. away. With this thing, because mm -hmm. it it really yeah. jerks. You <laughs> a lot of kick. It's a heavy. It's a heavy rifle. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's incredible. Pick it up, feel it, see what you think. So I how know, many years does, later? Before I do, I'll be sure you get the gun. Thanks. <laughs> Just so you don't have to worry about Thanks. it. Thanks. You know. Thank you, Jackie. Yeah. I don't know where you're going to keep it so we know. I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to give it for them. They, well, it's I'm sure you're going to want to take a look at it. Well, yeah, I'll keep it in your office for a while. Put it in your office. Put it in your yeah. office for a while yeah. so you can, you can play Feel it. it and well, I, want play you, free. I want you to all have I want you all Oh, back. we got plenty of time. We, we've had yeah. it for a few weeks now, and we can't take our eyes off it. But it is your firearm. Well, I'd yours. be proud to have it at, 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 at your place, you know? But, huh? keep That's it for yours. a few weeks. Keep it for, yeah. keep it, enjoy keep it. it. It's yours, Dad. It's, it's back to yours. its owner's hands. It yeah. came back to, how many years later? 73 years wow. later. Mm -hmm. 73 years later. Nice that they're serial numbers, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Yeah. How did you find it again? Mm -hmm. A lot of research. Detective work. A lot of detective work. <laughs> One day I'll sit down in another sitting and tell you step by step. And we got incredibly lucky finding this particular rifle. A gun yeah. owner in New Jersey. A in New Jersey. Yeah. How did he have it? I don't know. He must have purchased it mm -hmm. from the civilian marksmanship program. I don't. I didn't understand that they ever sold these rifles. Yeah. I thought that when when uh, when I got out of the Marine Corps, they took it, and I thought that they either went back to the armory and and never was sold again. They and went back to the armory, refurbished, and back they into went war, back into action. Mm -hmm. It was handed out to another Marine. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you could have two or three or four more Marines that have used that after you. This has been well worked. Well, well used. It has been used, yeah. Well, it could have been Korea. Yeah. yeah. Probably Korea and maybe even Vietnam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Wow. The life of it, we'll never know. Yeah. But we do know it was yours. It was issued to you. Are you going to hang it over your bed? There you go. <laughs> yeah. Now, congratulations, Dad. This is something we uh, I wanted you to have. As a part of you. I think, I think it's wonderful. You've done a, a really great thing. Where are you going to put it? Where it is. It really was something for me. What? Yeah. It's a part of you. Can you think, imagine for a whole year I s never left it. And that's all they gave you. <laughs> they gave you a uniform and a rifle. <laughs> and then taught you the, and, the and ways your, of the and Marines. Your bullets. That's right, and your bullets, yep. Yeah. It looks. Yep. It looks just dogs. like the day. The it's day. a little weathered. It's darker wood now. It's walnut. It's a lot darker than it used to be. But let's face it, it's 73 years old. <laughs> Can you imagine marching down the Fifth <laughs> Avenue with this? <laughs> I wonder what it weighs. It's a little over 10 pounds. It feels so much heavier, though. I know. It, it, it feels heavy. It's a heavy rifle. Yeah.
you march back from the crucible with that. <laughs> we Dragging had yourself. Eight hours. Of the yeah, yeah. That bloody thing. Yeah, I guess I, this is the one that actually probably was went, went with me on the yeah, crucible. Yeah, exactly. Yep, that's that one you were issued, and it stayed with you that whole time, through yeah. thick and thin. <laughs> My God, unbelievable. 